Prince Harry recently opened up on his special relationship with his grandmother, the Queen. During his trip to the Netherlands for the Invictus Games last month, the Duke of Sussex spoke about his reunion with the monarch, telling NBC's Hoda Kotev that it was great to see her. Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, have since confirmed that they will be attending Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee celebrations in June, though not in a formal capacity and aren't expected to appear with the family on the Buckingham Palace balcony. The decision puts months of speculation to bed and points to the relationship between the Sussexes and the royal family being repaired. Harry and Meghan stepped down from their senior positions in the firm two years ago. Following their bombshell exit, the couple were criticized for blindsiding the Queen. The Duke later disputed these claims during a tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey, saying he had never blindsided his grandmother and insisting that he had spoken to the Queen on three separate occasions before the depart. Now, Tina Brown, author of the new best-selling book, The Palace Papers, has claimed that the Queen knew it was highly likely that Harry would want out of the royal family. She told Washington Post Live last month, I actually think that it was unfair, in a sense, to call it Megsy, because I really think Harry wanted out himself. And you know, one of the advisors did say to me, and I was kind of shocked by this. A person, very close in the circle said to me, you know, we always knew that Harry was going to go at some point. He was really unhappy. The Queen knew that at some point it was highly likely that Harry would want out. But they didn't know it would be so fast, and they didn't see it happening in the way that it did. While Ms. Brown does not think it was fair to dub the Sussex departure as Megsy, she did admit that Meghan gave Harry the tools to leave. She said, I think it's also, then, fair to say that Meghan gave Harry the tools to leave, you know, I mean, because she was wired in. She understood the world of agents and, and I mean, this wasnt Harry's world. But suddenly he had in Meghan a very worldly strategist, who he decided to trust above all the other advisors. At the time of their exit, Harry and Meghan claimed they wanted to carve out more progressive roles within the royal family. Initially, they wanted to continue representing the Queen while pursuing their own commercial interests. However, this plan was rejected by the Sussexes have forged new lives in the affluent enclave of Montecito, California. Following their exit, they signed lucrative deals with Netflix and Spotify. Both Meghan and Harry have projects in production with the streaming giants. The Prince is understood to be working on a documentary about the Invictus Games entitled Part of Invictus. Harry founded the Games, an international sporting event for wounded, injured and sick servicemen and women, both serving and veterans, in 20. The series will showcase the powerful stories of competitors on their journey to Invictus Games The Hague 2020, which took place in April 2022 following two rounds of Covid cancellations. According to the Archwell website, the Duke said, this series will give communities around the world a window into the moving and uplifting stories of these competitors on their path to the Netherlands. As Archwell Productions' first series with Netflix, in partnership with the Invictus Games Foundation, I couldn't be more excited for the journey ahead or prouder of the Invictus community for continuously inspiring global healing, human potential and continued service. Meanwhile, Meghan has a new podcast in the works under Archwell Audio. The Duchess announced the launch of Archetypes, at the end of March. It is expected to tackle the typecasts and stereotypes that pulled women back through uncensored conversations. The Palace Papers, Inside the House of Windsor, The Truth and the Turmoil was written by Tina Brown and published by Century. You can find it here.